What's up everybody, GR Zerza here, and today I'm going to bring a beginner's guide to King of Fighters 13. This game is amazing. Unlike King of Fighters 14, um, it's universally agreed upon that this game looks gorgeous. Uh, it was the very highest of definition of sprites, uh, 2D animation, and they just put a lot of heart and soul into this game, and I didn't get into this until years after it had already come out so um it's on steam it goes on sale super cheap like four dollars here and there i've seen it so pick it up if you get a chance and for those of you who are thinking about doing it but you think that the game's a little bit difficult on the execution well i'm here to give you some tips that got me past that initial hump and to the point where i'm really enjoying the game and being able to do what i want to with the characters i'm playing so let's jump into it um, first thing you're going to want to do is just get used to the buttons. Um, you're going to want to go in and just hit practice mode and kind of play around with the roster, figure out who looks cool, stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab EX Iori. If you press select on certain characters, they'll have the red version. So like if you just press X, um... You see he's like the, the white, his name Keo is in white, that just means he's the normal version. Well, there was some DLC, and that's what that means. Um, and there's a lot of customizable colors for this game, so that's really nice. Um, it's a four-button game. You're going to have uh, your jab, your heavy punch, your light kick, and your heavy kick. Um, so I just recommend mapping it as if it was Street Fighter. Um, just have your square... And then X for your jab, and then triangle for your heavy, and then circle for your um, your heavy kick. Um, in, in King of Fighters, uh, for those of you who don't know, there's there's full jumps and then there's hops. Um, it depends on how long you're holding the jump for is is what you'll get. So don't worry too much about this stuff and let it overwhelm you. Um, just kind of get used to the movement. When you dash, you run. Um, you can backdash, and yeah, like I said, you can jump um, or you can hop. Hopping is very effective in this game. So what I recommend doing for that is doing down back, up forward, down back. So you're canceling your up forward with a down back, or you just hit up forward and then down backs. So that way uh, on the stick, you're not, you're not holding it too far forward and getting full jumps when you want hops. So that's just a recommendation. Um, first things first, you're going to want to go into your, um, your options here by pressing start. There's a second page. Some people didn't know about that. Set your power to infinity, set your drive gauge to infinity, and set the stun on player two to nothing, to no stun. And then on this page, you're going to want your input data on. Um, <clears throat> the display, you can put it on the left or the right or center. I recommend it. If you want the display on for certain things, just put it to the left if you're facing right. Because, yeah, it kind of takes up a lot of real estate. Um, so, anyway, uh, normally I play with it off, but you can see my uh, inputs. Okay. Uh, when you're far away, you're going to get fire buttons. They're different. So, this is like stand D. And when you're close, it's going to be the same for him. C is going to be different. So that's far C, this is close C. So some of the buttons change based on distance. And sometimes they're the same. So you kind of experiment with that. So he's doing kind of like an elbow hit there. And he's doing the same. So yeah, really just this close C that's changing. Figure out what your command normals are. Um, you know, look, look at the... Uh, you can hit um, select and then you'll bring up your command list and look up your specials. Kind of figure out what what you like. This guy's got Rekkas. Okay. So, like, just kind of get an idea for who you like. And then go from there. Um, this game is fast. You can link a lot of a lot of buttons together. So, yeah. Once you do that and you figure out, you're going to want to go back to... You figure out, like, what character you like. You're going to want to uh, go to the main menu. And this is what really helped me. So there's there's a mission mode. If you go into mission, and then you go down to the bottom and do trials. Now, 
I'm not going to say spend all day just doing trials. I'm going to do uh, Mr. Karate just because he's on my team. Um, you see here, I didn't even do them all. But what the trials are good for is showing you what the character can do. And then you take those tools and you use them uh, in your labbing and figure out like what you want to do. So first things first, they're telling you to do um, heavy punch and a forward light kick. So already you can see he probably has uh, a command normal. So this is what light kick normally looks like. This is what it looks like when you do forward light kick. So okay, we just we just learned something. So hit the demo. Always always hit the demo. See what they want you to do. Okay, so this is a meterless combo. So it's just heavy punch, forward light kick, and you can cancel forward light kick into a special move, which is his fireball. And when you're done with that and you feel comfortable, hit next. So as this gets going, it's going to get a little bit more involved. It's going to show you some new stuff. So already we're seeing some weird stuff going on here. I don't know exactly what's going on with this, like, yellow arrow with light punch and light kick. Well, light punch, light kick is roll normally, so it looks like it's coming after a DP. So let's see what that does if I do it. Oh, okay, so it cancels his animation of a DP. This is a DP normally, but if I DP and hit light punch, light kick after, he spins out. So that probably gives me time to do something else. So let's check out the demo and see what he does. Okay, so we can... We can see that you can link triple light kick from uh, crouch light kick, crouch light kick, and the stand light kick. Okay, that's cool. And then they want us to cancel that. Okay, so we have another command normal, forward light punch. And then canceling uh, the the DP into the little the roll, we're hitting both the lights. So let's try that again. So you just take these one at a time. But the main thing is you're learning the tools that the character has. So we know he can chain lights together. Like, there's four of them. But notice, as you're doing that, it pushes him farther away. So yeah, if you do four, like, he's not, he's not in range anymore. So yeah, that's what they want you to do three. So you're just kind of picking up little notes here and there. And then spin, and then that leaves you enough time to do another special move afterwards because you're canceling the DP. Seems very useful, and it's probably why this guy's really top tier. Okay, so that's what they're trying to show you is that you can cancel his DP. Look, it's in the middle of a combo. That's what it's useful for. All right, so click next, figure out what they want you to do. Okay, so the little hoppy guy, that means you're in the air. Okay, so then what the fuck does this mean? Or, or, or. Okay, I have no idea. Well, good thing there's a demo. Let's let's check it out. So jump, close heavy punch, and then he's doing like a looks like a dive kick. Okay, let's figure that out. So this the part after the or 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 is another in the air, and they want you to do half circle. And in the demo, it looked like he did it right off the ground. So let's let's just double check that to make sure. He did, yeah, he was right off the ground. So it looks like they're trying to get you to tiger knee. So what you can do is just look at the uh, the hop button there um, on the, the light kick after the or 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 part there. So the second to last move that you're doing. Half circle forward light kick. Well, why don't we do that and then just go all the way to up forward so that you're in the air and then hit light kick. So if we if we do it in the air, it's not going to combo, right? Like that, that just doesn't work. So they probably want us to do it where we do a half circle forward and then go all the way to up forward and then hit light kick on the first frame in the air yeah that that looks more, more realistic there so let's give it a try yeah so that combo and then they want me to follow it with a light dp so it's not that important that you're actually like finishing these things just that you're seeing what it is they're trying to get you to do so none of this has had us use any meter yet so let's let's uh, see what they're trying to do here. Okay, that looks like a super input, and it is. So they're trying to show us we can cancel a command normal into a super. Okay, so I did quarter circle forward, half circle back, light punch, canceling the light kick. And you notice that only took one bar. It didn't take any of the drive meter. So we know we can cancel command normals using just meter, and we don't have to use our drive meter. That's valuable information. 
All right, so moving on. Probably going to get a little more challenging here. Okay, whoa, that looks crazy. There's a lot of shit on the screen right now. Well, first thing to do, just relax, take a look, see what they're trying to have us do. Uh, there's another one of those yellow arrows, and it comes before Heavy Punch DP. So they're wanting us to do the little spin a -rooney thing here. Okay, cool. Well, we've already done that. Now they're just adding a little bit more, it looks like. And they're starting us in the corner, so this is probably a corner-only combo. All right, so they want us to jump in. Now, I recommend when you do jumps, don't full jump. Practice doing a hop first. Okay? That's going to make it a lot easier. So now, let's watch the demo and just kind of dissect what it is they're trying to get us to do. Again, you don't have to be able to do all this shit the first time you do it. So, like, right here... If you're a new player, I'd say don't even fucking try this. Like, just realize what they're trying to get you to do. So, there's a lot going on here. They they want you to jump in. So, this is like if you're getting a hit off a jump in or like a close C, right? So, they want you to do that and cancel it into a DP. Into the spinner Rooney. Right? So, you just get used to doing that. Okay, good. I got him up in the air. And I didn't, I didn't do a full DP. Because if I do that, the combo's basically over, right? Okay, so I just learned I can do a fireball after that. And that wasn't even part of this combo. But this is, you're going to learn stuff like that while you're doing this. Okay, right there. That, that part, you see I got to do double light uppercuts. Okay, so I did a heavy uppercut, and because I'm canceling it with the roll, light punch, uh, light kick, see how high he is in the air? That means I have time to do a light uppercut into another light uppercut. If you time it right. <laughs> Again, you're not going to be perfect your turn first time. Okay, so... Yeah, there. He's high enough there. Okay, so on the on the the third DP, the, the the second light punch DP you do in a row, they're wanting you to cancel with this dive kick thing, right? With light kick. Okay, so what they're trying to show you here is that you can do this at any time while the DP is still going off. So I did a little late there, a little late there. Try and do it a little bit earlier. There we go. So now you're seeing, oh, I can really extend combos. That's what they're trying to show you. That's what you're trying to learn here. Is you can do this, and you can start juggling your DPs. Okay, so I did a little early there. I apologize. This isn't normally the way I do this combo, so I'm a little rusty with it. Okay, so right there I did it, and it didn't link. So it looked like his body was a little high. I probably canceled the DP early, or I did the second DP too soon, and he wasn't low enough. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then end that with a super. But whatever. The, the important part is that I just learned I can use one bar of drive, which is that green glowing bar on the top, to cancel. So that's what you learn. Okay, so you would go into practice mode, and then you would start basically messing around with that and figure out what combos you can do with that and try and optimize your meter and, you know, get the most damage. And that's where, like, being a lab rat really takes over and you realize several hours go by and you've just been, like, experimenting the best way. Now, I don't like doing this combo with three DPs. It's a little bit closer on the execution, I'd say. It's a little less forgiving. So what I do is I just do like that because I like the way it lines up his uh, body for the for the cancel on the dive kick at the top. So I just do a fireball right here instead. Yeah, it works a lot more consistently. So you see, like, when I was in here doing this, I'm like, there's got to be a better way to do this and, or, or an easier way or a less, you know, more forgiving, something that might do more damage, stuff like that. And you kind of even it out and figure, figure that out. So then you want to go to the next one. Um, so we have a bunch of uh, meterless stuff that we can do. Now we have like a one bar for the drive and then it looks like a one bar for the super. 
Okay, so then you would end it like this, and then end with that. So that's a one, that's a one regular bar, a yellow bar, and one one half of a green bar. So I should explain that the green bar, when it's full, you get two cancels. Right? There's one. And then you'd have one more to use. Or you can do what's called max mode. Which you uh, will learn here. I believe it's the next one. Uh, this one. Nope, this one's not max mode. But we'll, we'll go over that next. Okay, so this one's doing some things that um, we did before. You can see that it looks like there's another light punch light kick cancel with the green arrow. The yellow arrow, whatever it is. That tells you that we're going to be doing this at some point. Um, and then it looks like they want us to do the dive kick, right? The tiger knee. We're going to do that off the first frame. But you're going to use both light kick and heavy kick. So what happens when we do that? Let's go back. Oh, if you hit select, it resets it. Okay, it's, it's a EX. So it uses one bar. But it looks like you get more, more of an air juggle off of it. So, okay. Let's just uh, take a demo play and see if that is what they're trying to get us to do. Okay, and it used the bar, and then... Oh, what was that green arrow into double... Into double forward, forward, so dash. So it looks like you can dash cancel heavy punch uh, fireball, it looks like. So, yeah, after you do this, they want you doing a fireball and dash canceling it. Which, oh, okay. So we just learned we can do that. And that gives us time to super. Okay, cool. All right, so then you just do that and figure out like what it is they're trying to get you to learn, and then of course you can try and do the whole exercise if you want, you know, or whatever. I I don't know what the combo is, but anyway. Um, okay, so they want you to cancel that with the DP, so you can cancel fireball with DP and then cancel the DP. So yeah, it gets a little overwhelming. So like I said, you're you're gonna want to between doing these you're gonna to want to go to practice mode and practice with it uh, there's one more I want to show you and then then I'll kind of explain that so you, then after you get your your one bar and your one drive bar and your one bar and your meter list combos and all that stuff you're gonna to want to have an HD combo so the way HD works is you can just use it raw and you'll kind of be glowing. You see it's draining your bar right there. So what you can do while this is happening is you get infinite cancels. Okay, see HD cancel? So right now, we only get two. Right now I'm out of bar if I do it raw. But if I'm in max mode, or HD mode, I can do them until the bar runs out. So I can just keep going. See what I'm saying? So you get to you get to cancel and do what's called a custom combo. See, I'm just kind of like getting to make it up, and you can juggle them as long as you can, and that's something you have to kind of learn. So in this exercise, they're trying to show you that you can do that. So let's hit the demo and check it out and see what they're trying to teach us. Okay, so you're confirming off a hit, and it looks like we're looping the same thing over and over. There's three moves. Okay, we've already used all these moves already. So that's good to know. Okay, so what are the three moves? Let's learn how to do that. So they have light punch, heavy DP, cancel. Okay, so light, pun or light punch, uh, fireball. And you're going to cancel that. Um, okay, so there, that's, that's the cancel right there. And then, they have you uh, canceling the heavy DP with the, with the roll, right? Light punch with the green arrow. We already learned that part, so. Oops. Uh, see, I got a little sloppy with my inputs. Okay, so that's what they want you to do. And then, they want you to do the tiger knee. Okay, cool. See, so you can just do this until the meter runs out, right? Okay. So that's what they, they taught you. And then in the end, you want to throw a super up. That's what they're asking you. Okay, so let's let's go back to the main menu. And 
this is what I was trying to say before. So like, you wouldn't just machine gun through these like I just did. Once you learn something new, go into practice mode. And this is where like, you're really gonna start getting comfortable with how the game plays. And it's gonna warm you up, you're gonna get muscle memory. And <clears throat> when you're playing, you're gonna do less, use less brain power on your inputs and more brain power on your neutral and your hit confirms and it's just it's better overall if you don't have to focus so hard on the inputs now i'm not going to lie to you this game is hard on the inputs it really wants you to be accurate so um one benefit to that though is it's going to clean up your execution and when you go back and play other games that aren't as uh unforgiving with the inputs you're gonna be more accurate and you're gonna you're gonna drop your combos less you're just you're just gonna feel more comfortable so that's a big benefit to playing this game okay so we learned we can ch chain three or four of these together right and we learned we can that that's probably a decent low so when you're playing you want to do that and see I dropped it so practice it a bunch right and, and if you're getting the DP and you're not canceling it fast enough work on that part you know, just do that over and over again until you get the timing down. Because you don't, you don't want to do the combo and then end it there. Because there's so much more you can do with this character. Okay, so that's that's like a cool, that's like a cool meterless combo, right? And then what you want to do is switch sides and do it the other way. Okay, and then you turn the display on, right? And then you figure out if this is optimal. Okay, meterless, 211. Okay, what happens? Can I can I do crouch? So this is from low. Can I do crouch B in a stand A? Is that comboing? Yeah, it does. Okay, so maybe if I do Now I'm able to now I'm able to get the DP going. So crouch like kick, stand like kick, four day, right? And that does that, and you can cancel that early with heavy DP. And then cancel that with with the uh, the roll, right? Okay, now they're up in the air. We can like use meter and stuff, right? Well, that's that's kind of cool. So okay, let's do a super. Let's see what that gets us. Okay, that's that's a decent amount of damage. That's one bar. It wasn't that hard, and it was off a low. Okay. Okay, so right there, I learned if if I get a jump in, and I hit close C forward B. They're too far away to get the launcher, which is what we really want. So maybe I can do a different button. Maybe I can do stand C. Maybe that, that'll that work. There we go. 264, meterless, not bad. So you just want to play around. Like the point is you just want to kind of learn that stuff. And so, so take it step at a time, one thing at a time, get, get the muscle memory down. Then turn the display off and set the uh, computer to CPU. And you can set the difficulty in the options menu at the main menu. So now, now practice getting that hit confirmed. See, and I, I did the wrong one. But you wanna, you wanna work on playing against like a, a, a moving target so you can work on your hit confirms. And, learn, and you'll learn quickly like what's what's uh punishable what's not stuff like that but so all i'm trying to do is that new thing i just learned right that right there just trying to get that going in a real match okay so you guys get the idea um play around with it play a lot of different characters do their trials kind of figure out what's going on and then when you want to like really test out your team or or if you just want to work on one character which i highly recommend just do one character at a time until you feel really comfortable it, it'll confuse you if you try to do too much so small portions just kind of work your way up it's kind of like working out you don't start with the highest weights on the weight bench and you just go crazy like you got to work your way up to it do a few exercises get familiar with them build your strength build your muscle memory and then go from there uh, Mission has another, uh, it's called Survival. And this lets you play one character. Okay, so I was playing Karate earlier. 
And this is great because it won't make you play teams. It'll let you play just one character. And you get to play against the computer, and you get to practice a real battle scenario, right? So I'm hit confirming. I'm not going to DP there because he was blocking. And on the lower, on the earlier levels, they really don't do much. So you just kind of tear through them here. But you, the point is, you want to put yourself in a situation to learn, to work on the things you just learned. And use them in a real, or a semi-real situation, right? Okay, so let's just uh, close this out here with a few, a few basic stuff. Um that is in KOF that isn't in other games for people who literally have never played KOF. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go into training mode one more time here. And the nice thing about training mode too is you can turn the AI off and on if you want to practice something in a, in a real scenario. Uh, you know, while, while you're training, then you can turn it back to dummy. You can make him crouch and stuff. Okay, so let's turn him to stand. Okay. Um, okay, so some, some basics here. There's a thing called blowback. It's when you hit both your heavy buttons. It's crazy active. It's crazy strong. It gives you a knockdown. And it usually launches them across the screen. So uh, one thing to know about it is you can do it in the air too. Okay. See my inputs? Hitting both the heavies. It's, it's a great way to take up space. And also, um, if you get a counter hit with it, you can combo off of it. So, turn counter hit off. Or turn counter hit on. Okay, so see how it says counter right there? That means they were, they were in the middle of, like, using an attack, and you countered them. Okay, so see, off a of counter hit, you can keep hitting them. So typically, you want to be able to watch for that. You see what I mean? And like learn learn a combo for when you get a counter hit. Yeah. So you get the you get the idea. So that's something cool that you can do. Also, you can cancel blowbacks. Okay, so that's a counter. Let's turn counter off. You can cancel them. So I'm doing a fireball afterwards. Okay, you can also cancel sweeps. So this is a sweep, right? It's got a lot of recovery. But you can cancel it with a fireball. You can cancel it with a DP. You can, I don't know why you want to. But you can cancel it. That's, that's the point. So like, in neutral... I, I, if I'm gonna sweep, because I want a, like a long range poke, I usually cancel it, just to make sure. Um, so you put, let's put him on guard, right? So if you do this, uh, guard? Guard, all guard, there we go, okay. Okay, so like, that's probably punishable, right? Most sweeps are in most games, but, fireball at that range, light fireball, is not punishable. So it just makes it a little more safe. Right? And that, that just... Look at look at all that space I created. So they get you in the corner, right? So they get you in the corner. And now now you you have, like, real estate, right? Now now you're, you're basically out. Uh, another thing you, you can do in this game is roll, which is the light buttons. Okay? It's throwable, but it's invincible to, like, hits and projectiles. Um... You can also do uh, cancels. So if you go to, let's see here, let's let's put him on UI. Unless we can have him. Okay. Okay. So let's let's get him to put me into a block string. So while you're getting hit, like you can do, you can hit. Uh, blowback right while, while you're in block stun and it will use a, a bar of meter and it will use 
what's called guard blowback. So it's kind of like a get out of the corner free card. If you're if you're getting pressured and I can't really get him to do a block string to save my life. That's a command grab. See right there. That's that's uh, a cancel. You can also do it with roll. See? And and it 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 makes it so that their animation of recovery is still going, but you're like out of the hit stun or the block stun already. And that uses one bar. So that, those are defensive mechanics in the game. Okay, the next thing is is the hops. I talked a little bit about them earlier. So look at my inputs. Up forward, down back. That's that's how that's how I hop without accidentally getting jumps. Like I'm canceling my up forward with a down back. Right? And when you practice combos, you want to do that. Because there's there's a lot of you could just sit here and hop all day to try and get used to it, but that's boring. So instead, just hop before you while you're practicing combos, two birds one stone. Okay, so I'm learning a combo, right? I'm going to start it with a hop. Instead of just doing this and practicing your combo, do a hop first. Hop D, full C, fireball. Okay. So, do that and then flip the side over. Do it the other way. Right? And then start learning your HD combos, like once you get to that point. Don't start these too early in your learning, okay? These are extremely advanced. And they're gonna make you feel like you, you like you're you're not you're not learning enough, you're not getting good enough fast enough. Please don't do that shit till you're really comfortable with your character. So anyway, I know it looks cool and you wanna do it, but do this shit first, right? Do this like that was meterless right like figure out what your character can do that's one bar cool okay like figure that stuff out that's it's, most of the fun of this game is just learning what your character can do and and then go out there and get a buddy to play with you i recommend offline if you can but the netcode's pretty decent for this old of a game um yeah, so I think that's about everything. Um, the guard gauge there, yeah, if, if you're pressuring them enough, it, you'll get a stun. you get a free combo. Um, if you do a super move and hit both the buttons, it does a level two. It uses two, two bars a meter. You can see that was a little bit different. So yeah, and then when you're done with that, you go to your next character, repeat it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play Shen. I'm gonna learn his buttons. Then I'm gonna go into his trial. Learn learn a meterless combo. If you can't figure it out yourself, but even if you can figure stuff out yourself, sometimes the trials will show you a little bit more that you can do. You're like, oh, I didn't know the character could do that. So um, anyway, yeah, you just you just want to learn like what the command normals are, like what the what the character can do. Go into his Go into his uh, move list, like figure that stuff out, and then figure out like a good one bar combo. Sometimes using an EX move is is really useful, and not just doing like you know a move into into super. Um, sometimes just using a an EX move is really good to get like a lot of juggle, because then when you get him in the corner, you can combo that right. And this character is pretty cool because you can get like a free uh, guard crush if you uh, do a fireball motion and hold it. Or you can cancel it with hitting uh, light kick. Anyway, we'll finish this off with some swag. Yeah! Alright, cool. So that'll do it. Um, hit me up for games. Hit me up with any questions. Um, I love talking shop. This game is super fun. 
I, I fell in love with KOF 14 and a couple years later I picked this game up and I just I like it so much more um, for so many different reasons it looks nicer and it just plays really well like when you hit a button the button comes out it feels so smooth um, blowback feels godlike when you land it in this game the sound effects are great so yeah it's just it's just a lot of fun I highly recommend it and I hope you learned some stuff and I hope this helps and yeah don't don't get overwhelmed that's my biggest my biggest advice is just don't don't let things overwhelm you and say oh there's no way I could do that just take it in chunks even the trials like just just do one move figure out what it's oh quarter circle forward light punch it wants me to do that what's that oh that's that okay well what can I do off of that yeah so anyway just take it one thing at a time, figure out what it is they're trying to get you to do, and then take it into the lab and, like, figure out, you know, like, these things. I don't even know if this is, like, what, what the lab wants you to do. I just, like, figure this out and optimize it myself. Like, I'm like, shit, that's, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that's a corner only, so. So if they're not in the corner, you can't, you can't do that super. You got to do a different one. Okay, that one works. So yeah, stuff like that. Like it's it's you know, when you drop stuff, it's not always cuz it's your fault or you did it wrong. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes it's, you know, a corner combo only. Um, sometimes it's it's just the the height the height of where they're at, you know. Like sometimes stuff just doesn't land and you just have to slow it down a little bit and let let their body fall a little bit more. Like on the end of the max mode. See if I do that too early, it misses. And you know, when I was first learning that, I'm like, what the hell? Like I did the input right, but sometimes it's just a timing issue. So, you know, don't get discouraged, don't get frustrated. You will drop stuff. I still drop stuff, especially in real matches. So, yeah. Alright, cool. I think that'll wrap it up. This has been long enough. Peace.